In commerce, a bitch news submitted by Hey Bitch Number One Podcast, a man is now facing trial after tossing a fridge off a cliff and mocking the idea of recycling. Oh, I think I saw this. Tossing a fridge off a cliff. Yep. Yeah, like whoosh, and pretty much throwing away like giant littering. Oh, exactly, giant littering. So this happened in Spain, and I will show you the video. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, He's just trying to get rid of this shit. They drove all the way to this cliff. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been there, man. Was it to make a point? No. He's, He's just trying, trying to, to get funny. rid of this shit. No, no, no. He's not even trying to be funny. Oh, really? He's just trying to get rid of this shit. Oh, God. Yeah, you ever had a broken fridge? You're like, oh, man, I gotta fucking take this to the dump or some shit? Fuck that. And then you take it to like a hillside and you just kick it off the side? Have I ever done that? No. <laughs> But I have seen appliances all around our nature, and I'm just like, how does this happen? Yeah. Nature, oh. You never drive around and you're like, why is there a washer here in the middle of the mountain? Yep. Dude, because of, of, of fucks like me, white trash people like me. Oh. So so when I was a kid, uh, we had a freezer that broke, and my dad, we, we took it to this place, because we looked it up, it's down the street, you can take your appliances there and drop it off, but when we got there, we realized the whole, par the whole parking lot was empty, so my dad's like, Oh, cool. So we don't have to like take it out and put it on dolly and like walk it up or anything. Oh my god! So he's like, he he opens the door and we're still driving, and he's like, just fucking like kick it, just kick it out. And so I push <laughs> back against the wall like that, and I fucking kicked it, and then the thing it, it it fell out while we were going like six miles an hour, and the fridge like broke in half. And, just went all <laughs> and you guys fucking like, bailed. We fucking drove the fuck out of there, dude. <laughs> awesome. Damn. Statue of limitations funny. has definitely passed. I am completely legally fine. Thank you. Some employee that was working there watched, they're like, you were the motherfucker that did this shit. <laughs> well, supposedly you could take it there and they'll try to repurpose it too. Oh my oh. god, he just made it worse. It did not happen. Is it broke? Wow. Now they can't even sell it. Maybe they could sell like, maybe they could sell the handle for parts or something. <laughs> I feel like this man wanted to see how it would look like falling down the cliff, right? <laughs> that is a that is a good scientific approach. I feel like it's a thing that people would like to do just to throw something down and just see it fall. I don't think people, girl, I think it's just Guys, yes, yeah, that's true. It's like I don't, I don't know any girl that's like, hey, do you want to go and throw some shit off yeah. the hill? Let's do it. Do you guys have this feeling? So when I'm like high somewhere, right? If I throw something like an egg or something off, and or like something into the water, when it's floating through the air, my balls are shrinking. Cause you think you're identifying with the egg, yeah, and, I, and I feel this feeling of like, <gasps> like this until it hits yeah. the water or the, or the ground. Do you guys? Are you saying do we have a feeling, feeling with our like? Like if you throw something over <laughs> over the pier or something, you're just like. No. My vag yeah. does nothing. What if, you threw a peach? <laughs> what if you threw a peach or something that resembled that? I would get scared th that I'm like, fuck, I hope it doesn't hit something down there that's a living. And nothing sucking mm -hmm. at that time? Yeah, down. so I wouldn't throw the peach over. I'd probably just toss it on the side because I'm like, oh, something can eat this. Yeah. I do that. Sure. My balls shrink because I am coming. <laughs> what? And, yeah. When you're shooting the cum over the cliff. Yes. Yeah, oh, right. I see. Yeah. I see. You ever come off a cliff? Never. Oh. He's afraid of heights. I but if he I wasn't. Yeah. I do like throwing things. From high places, though, it's pretty fun. It's like back in the day, it's like water balloons, and you just you've done that, yeah, just to water see where, out. just see, I don't know, just to see it explode. You throw a pumpkin before? Oh, I feel like I have. Yeah. That's fun. I'm I feel like I'm okay with biodegradable littering. Yeah, this is just gonna fall apart. Right. Yeah. yeah, some birds are gonna eat it. Yeah, that oh. one. Or dog shit. It's biodegradable. Mm -hmm. Throwing dog shit. You just gotta take it out of the bag. Because the bag, oh, yeah, the bag traps it. Yeah. Little known fact, or you get a biodegradable bag and you're good. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Wait, so can we see this video? I was trying to show you. So <laughs> this is the video of him throwing it over, and also after this this first video went, uh, the police posted it on Twitter <laughs> trying to find this man. They found the man and they made his ass go down there and pick it back. <laughs> so that's what the second part of this video All shows. Right. Oh, second part. Reciclando. He's saying recycling. Oh, reciclala. We're gonna recycle it. Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn. Damn. You fucking glittering asshole. It's so funny, though. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Such a guy thing to do. Like, what the hell's that? Someone else? Another oh. appliance. Same, Same guy? guy? Ah. What the fuck? Damn, why does Spain look like LA forest and shit? Yeah. Everything looks like picking it up? You fucks. Oh man. I love Why it. is it all blurry? I don't know. They're are they, are their clothes off or something? Is that no. Oh. Wait, is that yeah. the cops recording them now, picking it up? Yeah. That's fucking funny. <laughs> they gotta do all this work now. I don't know why they blurred it, but yeah. Yeah, why blur it? Jesus. Damn, so, dude. Didn't we see them before throw it down unblurred? Mm -hmm. What a fucking bunch of fuck faces. 
Yep. So I love this. This is a good lesson learned, you like, freaking schmucks. I feel like that's something we'll just like something just guys would do just yeah. to see it roll. Absolutely. So I enjoyed the roll. Like I, I don't I disagree with the littering. <laughs> Me too. But there's something really awesome about seeing like a stove or an oven mm -hmm. or even a television just fly down a mountain. That's so yeah. boring. Really? Yes, what's so fun about it? I don't know. I feel like that's like when guys like to hit the top of like doors. Like, I do that. Yeah, mm. I feel like it's a guy thing. I would if I could. I don't. I don't know if it's a gender thing, guys. I'm sorry, but I like would it? find joy in this too. See. Nice. Also, like whenever we go to, I don't know, like for example, when we went to Iceland. There were these like chunks of ice, and I just had to break them apart with my foot yeah. and pick up the chunk and just throw it in the water in the river. Yeah. And I'm like, this is happens, so much right? fun. Do we yeah. see? Yeah, maybe it's not a gender. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever walk around and you see mushrooms and you just gotta kick them? No. I gotta kick them. I have to okay. kick them too. I have to kick them hard. I gotta fuck them up. Like which yeah. kind? The yeah. ones that are wide and fat, or the the skinny? Whichever ones. The I ones that it. like just grow after you, it rains and shit. Oh, yeah. I can see yeah. myself doing that too. Yeah. There's some real big boys next to me right now on me and Nikki's little walking path. You can't wait. I, well, uh, Nikki's always there, and she's always like, "Don't kick it! Don't do! Don't do!" Why? Because they're poisonous. You have to kick them right, before somebody he, eats it. But because who I who the man, fuck is eating something off a sidewalk? Asian grandma. Maybe dogs. Or, uh -huh. But because I haven't gotten to kick them, they got so big, and now they're looking so juicy. I want to kick <laughs> them. Oh so man! Bad. Yeah. Well, you got to kick it before it dies. I know. Yeah. There's nothing like kicking a juicy mushroom versus yeah. a dried one. I'm gonna kick them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Siri. I'll Insta story is it. Tell Siri uh, to, yeah. that says she sets a reminder. Good. <laughs> and it's already been kicked. Oh. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, or the I kicks. Hope suck. <laughs> I hope not. Damn. Well, anyway, so this guy here, he was fined 45,000 euros, which is about $74,277. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's the fucking law I like. That's insanity, yeah. bro. So, that's what they should do to litterers over here. Yes, no. I hate litterers. Well, there are there are fines for litterers. Yeah, too. but it's only $1,000. That's like yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. It's not enough to make people go, I regret this for the rest of my life. Dude, 75 grand for this? Well, it is a, that's a lot. pretty bad littering. He picked it up, though. Because so they made him, oh, not yeah, because he should get it. half off or something. No, that was part of the order, too. Oh. Well, pick yeah, it, so then pay some jobs. They're saying that, um, so there was this uh, court. They're saying that they're deciding whether or not the man would face further fines for environmental <gasps> crime. Mm. And also, there was this investigation, and police said that the waste management company that employed this man <laughs> will also face sanctions because it too had failed to properly dispose of old refrigerators. Oh, so they weren't even his own appliances. He just worked for a company, and that's how they Whoa. said. <laughs> okay, so why don't we charge the U.S. military for every drone strike? They blow up some cliffside or some fucking hill. They should. There's probably a refrigerator inside. Yeah, dude, dude the environmental impact of a fridge chilling somewhere, like just no, laying No, but there imagine it deteriorated and like over time and like it affected, like it poisoned. It doesn't even know $75,000 worth of damage, bro. Yeah, so he doesn't insane. do it again because he obviously did it multiple times. The earth always inherits these things, bro. It breaks them down over it time. It came from the slowly. Earth. That's right. It's only going to take two billion years, but it's going to go back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But what if a family of beavers used the fridge for the new home? They took it or away. Or a raccoon. Yeah. You guys are four guy getting charged 75 grand yeah, for this shit. Fuck it. 75 grand no is kind of. I don't like littering. I don't like littering. You fuck up. I am. A little bit. And you gotta pay 75k? Mm -mm. Well, that's in Spain too, so maybe that's why their people are more in order than the freaking exactly. Americans. Good point. Do that's we know that? Yes. No, we yeah. don't. I just wanna go, I just don't wanna be wrong. I okay. think a better punishment may be where they have to get trampled by those bulls that run through the alley. What the, what did the bulls do? No, they're having the good times, trampling on the humans. The bulls The humans it. are in yeah. the way, and then the bulls get hurt because the humans got in the, the way. The running of the bulls, the bulls are having a lot of fun. I've never seen the bulls get hurt by trampling over the humans. They trip, and then they end up like smacking their face on the wall? I've never seen yeah. that. I've never seen a bull no. trip. <laughs> I've never seen bull running bloopers, so no, I've never seen that. <laughs> Maybe I gotta look for the bloopers. The I blooper, saw the wrong video. The bloopers are when the bull misses. I like it because <laughs> there's guys running away, and then there's just all these bulls like throwing them up in the air. I love that yeah. shit. See, you deserve it. That's why. But not for fridge, that of fridge dumping. Well, he was saying he should go there. I think so. What's the appropriate fine for you then? Like ten G's? I think like cleaning up shit, cleaning up a bunch of shit off the side of the road or something like that. 
Oh, community service? Yeah, fuck yeah. Picking up more, more appliances. Picking up more appliances, exactly. And they have to be pantsless. I'm for that. <laughs> okay, I, I like that. During that's mosquito cool. season? Yep. Oh. <laughs> what attracts yeah. mosquitoes? Yeah, Put that on them. True. Yeah. Dick juice, probably. And then dress them up in yellow. Paint them in yellow so bees will sting them. Oh. Or maybe he has to go on mosquito killing duty for a year. <laughs> so he's just, oh. he's in the fucking, he's out here in the fucking forest yeah. doing this shit? Yep. And then he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just making beats there yeah. in the forest. And he has to be naked. <clears throat> I'm for that. Oh yeah, so they could come in. Bite them everywhere. I like that. Well, I imagine that was like a community service thing to just... Kill mosquitoes? That's a great mosquitoes. one. With your that tennis thing, great. your tennis racket thingy. Yeah, with the tennis racket? Like, that's better than like just paying 75000 to... Where does it go to? Yeah, right. who knows so where the environmental goes. efforts. Yeah, we're just, I feel like, I don't know, like, I, or the, where does it go? Or the private prison industry fucking having them do free labor, basically. I'd rather them kill I like mosquitoes that for us. Yeah, I like yeah. that idea. Kill the mosquitoes. Yeah. Kill the mosquitoes. Kill those fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> I like that.